Hello my friends, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a demo and quick review of the new, semi-new, Say Slip Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Sunscreen Tinted Moisturizer. This bad boy right here. It's been selling out like crazy on Sephora's website and I had to see what all the fuss was about. It has piqued my interest since it first released, but when it starts started selling out, I was like, hmm. I need to find out what this is. So if you're interested in seeing what this product is, if it's right for you, if you've been kind of looking at it but not wanting to take the plunge, you just don't know how it works, then this video is for you. So if you're interested in all of that information, then just keep on watching. So let's go ahead and get started. So say, now here's the thing, I don't know a whole lot of backstory behind the brand as far as when exactly it was created. I do know that they are huge on clean beauty products, on what you put on your face, what you put on your body, which a lot of people are into right now. So this is the Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer. It's one of the several products that they do have on the market right now. And again, it's not a foundation, it is a tinted moisturizer. All of their products lie in that lightweight natural type of realm so if that is up your alley then you know you've probably already looked into this brand but first let me go ahead and read you the description on the sephora website um, so it's a tinted moisturizer that offers skin loving hydration sheer dewy coverage in confusion free shades and 100 percent mineral uv protection it has licorice uh, jojoba esters and sweet pea it is gluten-free, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. And then it says this tinted moisturizer looks amazing, but feels even better because it's bursting with skincare superhero ingredients. The pocket-friendly tube goes where you go. No shaking needed. Mm, we'll come back to that. Don't overthink choosing your shade. Each flexible, confusion-free tint disappears into a wide range of skin tones. So I did overthink it and come to find out I didn't need to. Um, and that really is true because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm shade two or shade three. I ended up opting for shade three and it was perfect because it is that sheer type of um, formula. It kind of dissipates and molds into your own skin tone, which is, I think, kind of cool. So let me real quick read you the description for the highlight. I do have the deluxe size of the highlight right here. Um, and in case you're wondering if this is for you, we are gonna use it in the demo so that you have an idea, even though the majority of this video is gonna be geared on this one. So this is an illuminating gel-based luminizer made of 75% water that can be mixed with skincare foundation or worn alone for a fresh, dewy look. Uh, let's see, it's got plant-derived glycerin, vitamin C, and rose hip seed oil. Uh, let's see, it feels like nothing, looks like everything. The glowy super gel highlighter works with fewer shimmery powders so it's less strobe, more lit with from within. Choose between bronzy sun glow or champagne tinted star glow to show off your skin. So this, the full size of this Oh, I think it's 25 and then the smaller size is 15, which is half an ounce. Mine is like five milliliters. So literally this is the trial size. As far as the tinted moisturizer, it is $32. You get 1.35 ounces of product. And let's go ahead and go into specifics. So as far as the packaging itself, yes, it does come in this cute little tube. Really like the packaging. I will say, when I first got it, I pumped and pumped. And you know how when the product is new, it takes a long time for it to come up to the pump. It wasn't coming up to the pump. I ended up opening it up and it's got one of these little non-existent type of pumps. Like it doesn't have the little stem. And I think a lot of brands are doing that, especially like for, again, because it's recyclable, use less, less plastic, that kind of thing. So I did end up having to shake it, have had to do that a couple of times to bring it down to the little pump thingy. Not a deal breaker in the least, as long as I can get this stuff out. And again, I love the packaging. I think it's something about it is simple, but sleek. It's cute. It's modern. I really enjoy it. I picked up shade three, which I think was described as fair deep was perfect. I am a light to light medium neutral skin tone and this was perfection. So let me go ahead and give you a quick swatch as I've got like something else on my hand here. 
Um, let's see. So here is what this looks like right here. And I'm going to shear this out. Now, I will say that in the swatch, it's going to look uber sheer. But once you start putting it on, like, I feel like it's not, it doesn't look as sheer. And in fact, it's not looking super sheer even now. When they pumped it on me at the store and I was like, okay, this is like super see-through. Um, but not, it's not as bad. Maybe they gave me too little of product. Anyways, again, this is shade three in case you're wondering. I do have self-tanner on, so that's why it's looking a little bit, a little bit lighter than usual, but truly it works perfectly. Okay, so that being said, let's just go ahead and go into the demo so that we can put this on together. Now, I am gonna treat this today as I would a usual foundation. We're gonna go through the normal steps of a foundation routine. So, you know, foundation, concealer, all of it, powder. But something like this, you typically wouldn't set with powder because again, you're looking for that super natural, no makeup makeup look. But for purposes of today, we are going to use, uh, we're gonna use powder. So that being said, let's jump into the demo and then we will be back with final thoughts. So I went ahead and prided my face already using the Farsali uh, Liquid Glass Radiance Serum. I love this stuff. I feel like I need to purchase another bottle of this before it ends up being discontinued or something. But this is what I went in with. I already have sunscreen for reference. This product contains sunscreen in it. So you don't have to do double duty. I did just because I like the finish my sunscreen gives my skin. So let's go ahead and begin. I purchased mine in the shade three. Uh, for reference, I have used this before um, just a couple of times. So I kind of do have a thought on, you know, how I like it. So I'm going to pump a little bit out onto my hand. Now, granted, this is a, I'll tell you the right term for it. It's a tinted moisturizer. So typically these are more sheer, very sheer, and you usually use a little bit more than what you're used to with a regular foundation. But we'll go over that here in a second. So for today, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush. I am going to use the foundation brush or the foundation side to blend this out. And we will be using the concealer side because I am going to add concealer today. So I'm treating this as I would a regular foundation. And I'm just going to go through my normal process of buffing this into the skin. Okay, so this is the look with one layer. So obviously it is more sheer, but it does look very healthy. It looks glowy. It's a tinted moisturizer with SPF. So that being said, we're gonna add another pump and I'm gonna go in with a second layer just so that you can see how it builds up. Okay, so that is two layers. I'm gonna leave it at that because any more on me would start to kind of gunk up. It's looking really smooth, really glowy, really natural, honestly. So yeah, this is shade three. For reference, their website, the Say website says you don't really have to overthink um, like a shade match, which I certainly did. Um, because it will fit kind of a range of skin tones. They don't have a super extensive line, but let me get up close a little bit more so that you can see what it looks like for like my pores and stuff here. I'll come super up close. So you can see, I do have pores right here and you can still kind of see them a little bit. And it is very, very glowy, very dewy. 
and I really don't have a lot of like problem areas so there's nothing really to show there but it's very glass like and I mean obviously it's not going to be like pore smoothing or anything like that because again it is a tinted moisturizer it doesn't have a claim that it's going to smooth over your pores and make you look airbrushed it is for the purposes of making your skin look healthy so at this point let's go ahead and keep going with what we would normally do with a usual makeup routine so i am going to go in with the rare beauty concealer i've gone in with like the makeup forever concealer the real thick one but it did end up making the whole look look a little bit cakey and powdery i don't find that they mixed well so a lighter concealer for this type of thing is best and I very much enjoy the rare concealer because it gives me pretty decent coverage without being super cakey. Now another thing I have found though with this product um, is that if I put concealer right here on the edges of my nose like I typically do to kind of cover redness and stuff it starts caking up and separating there so I am going to leave that as is. And there's not a whole lot of redness to conceal today anyways, just right here, but that's okay. I'd rather do without than have it look all crusty and gross right there. So I'm gonna let the concealer sit for a second, just because since it is a thinner consistency, if you let it sit for a few seconds, it kind of not firms up, but gets a little bit creamier to give you more coverage. So that being said, we're gonna go ahead and also move into bronzer using a lot of cream products today. Obviously this is a more natural kind of look, not the eyes. I was wanting to try one of the Bambi palettes and so I had to play with eyeshadow today. So we're not, we're going a little dramatic with the eyes. But anyways, using the Milk Makeup Baked Cream Bronzer. I'm just gonna place this down. And this is the Fenty, what is this? 125 Face Brush. Okay, so that takes care of bronzer. Let's go back into concealer. So I'm trying to tell if my bronzer is looking a little harsh and I think it is. So I'm just gonna go back in with the same foundation brush and just kind of blend that out just a little bit around the edges just so that it doesn't look so amateur. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and use the concealer side of the brush and blend in this concealer. Okay, so that portion is done. Basically the face as far as foundation, foundation, and concealer is done. Let's move into, and you see how the concealer worked really well by letting it sit. It just kind of became like more of a high coverage type thing because you can't really see a whole lot of under eye circles. So let's move into blush. We are also going to use a, no, hold on, take a step back. I have the little deluxe size of the, say, it's the Illuminator Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. So I'm going to put this on and show you how this works. Um, it's not my favorite and it's not something that I feel like I would use again. <laughs> but it is a very gel consistency, like almost kind of watery. And I am definitely going to place this down before putting powder because I have placed it over powder and it lifts my foundation right off. So if you want to, if you're interested in this, then you kind of need to just use it over cream, either before you set or just don't set at all. It gives you almost kind of like a wet look, but it doesn't dry down, like it's legit wet. So that's what we've got going on there. Yeah. Anyways, so let's move on. <laughs> Um, let's go into blush. I'm going to use one of the Fenty Cream blushes. This is going to be the Petal Poppin' shade 
and I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush I haven't used before. This is the e.l.f. putty blush, so it's meant to be used with the e.l.f. putty blushes, um, but I'm curious to see how it plays with other cream products, so let's go ahead and take a look. This will be interesting. <laughs> Not bad for a four dollar cream blush brush those are usually hard to come by so elf has been doing good stuff here lately so that's that okay before we go in with highlight as the last piece we're gonna go in with powder these types of products so whenever you're using like a tinted moisturizer you're typically not looking to set it down with powder you're not looking to treat it as a foundation it is more of a natural on the go type of thing just a little bit of coverage but kind of truly the no makeup makeup look but again for purposes of this video we are going to go in with powder and uh, this is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder I am going to set everything <laughs> for reference I am using the hourglass dual ended brush I don't typically pay this much for brushes but I had been wanting this one for such a long time and it had been out of stock for what seems like forever. It came back in stock last month. So I bit the bullet and picked it up. So I'm just going to set my under eyes real quick. That's what it looks like with powder all smoothed over. Um, it is definitely starting to look like, or it is looking like a pretty lightweight foundation, um, a step up over a tinted moisturizer. And a lot of that's because we added the concealer, the powder, everything. So lastly, let's go in with a highlight. I'm gonna use the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. This is in the rose gold version. And the reason I'm using this one is because with these types of products, now granted, I already set it with powder, but with these types of products, as far as like the tinted moisturizer, you kind of want to go in with like a, uh, almost like a gelée type formula, something that's not too powdery because the powder will end up clinging to the tinted moisturizer, to the cream. So these are a little bit thinner in consistency. They're a little bit more of a, I don't know, like a glaze. They give you more of a wet look. And so these types of formulas look best with that type of product. So question is, what do we want to use? I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Metallic Golden Peach. And I'm using the Anastasia A23 highlighter brush. Anyways, so that's it, you guys. That is the finished look using the Say Tinted Moisturizer. Looks pretty good. I have to say. So if you've been interested in this um, product, then now hopefully you have a little bit of an idea of what it looks like on the face. Okay, friends, that brings us to the end of that demo. I hope you enjoyed. And most of all, I hope you found it helpful. Um, I hope that in your quest for finding out if this is the product for you, that that helped you even a little bit. So let's go ahead and go into my final thoughts. So I've already told y'all, first off, I love the packaging. I think this is super cute. It's very travel friendly because it's not going to explode all over your travel bag, drops right in your bag really nicely. It's not glass. You don't got to worry about it breaking, all of that stuff, which I don't worry about that stuff anyways. <laughs> but anyways, um, so again, this is more, I think, geared to the person who wants that lighter coverage. I do have to disclose that I don't really have problematic skin. For the most part, my skin is pretty easy to work with. The only thing is in this area here, I have a lot of pores, a lot of pores. <laughs> so um, aside from that, I don't have like a lot to cover, like acne scarring and things like that. So I do need to disclose that because what works for me, you know, may not work for you or for the next person, whatever. So 
Anyways, so yes, it's a very lightweight coverage. You saw how it built up. It's very glass-like, very dewy. It's, it looks very, it makes your skin look super hydrated, which I am here for a dewy look. That is my preferred <laughs> type of look. So that being said, again, you're not going to use a setting powder or anything like that if you're looking for that super dewy look. You're just going to let it go as is. Maybe use like a really tacky primer, something that will kind of lock it down. I have done that and it does work out just fine. Um, today I did use a different primer, but you know, it's just really completely up to you. So, um, but for purposes of today in locking and loading it with powder, I put concealer, I did the whole shebang. It still looks pretty darn good. I would even, I would go on the regular with using this as a foundation, again, just because it looks really good and still looks so healthy. It's supposed to have SPF, well not supposed to, it has SPF 35, so you can forego your sunscreen step prior to and just use this as your sunscreen, it's supposed to have those skincare benefits, things like that. And so... Quite frankly, I think in the direction that beauty is going, this is a perfect addition to the beauty world, a perfect addition to the whole no makeup makeup, less is more kind of thing, um, because that's like the direction this is all headed. <laughs> so anyways, and I think this was the perfect introduction, at least for me, because I don't usually buy tinted moisturizers and things like that. This just really drew me in for several reasons. And this was the perfect introduction toe in the water for that. And I do see myself using this as a more natural, not, you know, piling it up with all of the other products, like during the summer and stuff, taking this on a vacation, just, you know, I mean, I think people are now starting to go on vacations and things like that. So this is a really, really great addition. So as far as the highlight, I have to say it's not my, I, I probably wouldn't use it again, at least not in the capacity that I did today. It lifts, if you're going to use powder, it will lift your powder. It will lift your whole thing. It looks like a bald spot, <laughs> but if you're using it, and again, this is real, isn't really meant to be locked and loaded like a full on foundation. So people wouldn't typically use powder and this goes on just fine on top of this product on top of the tinted moisturizer just dab a little on it's not your highlight to the moon type of thing you saw it or you heard in the description it's a lit from within type of glow the other way that i have not yet tried it um, is basically mixing it in with this tinted moisturizer or even just on a bare face just going in only with this and letting it letting it do its thing and just kind of having a radiant type of glow but as far as a highlighter I wouldn't personally purchase the large one. So I love this product, you guys. I think it's worth the $32. I know that's pricey for a tinted moisturizer. Maybe wait for the VIB sale that's on its way here. But I really am so happy I picked this up. And I can see why it's selling out. It is a really, really great product. Um, and the focus is on skincare and natural ingredients and things like that. So with there being such a focus... Um, on that right now, I think it's um, it fills a really good spot in that arena. So my friends, that brings us to the end of today's video. Real quick, want to give you a verse of the day just to tell you I love you, to motivate you, encourage you, and to tell you that Jesus loves you. Um, today's comes from Philippians 4, 8, and it says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. In a world with so much noise, it's easy to think on everything else. But this verse always refocuses my thoughts like, okay, I need to think on those things that are just so absolutely beautiful, those lovely things that are pleasing to God. Because it, it again, it's easy to get caught up in all of the noise and all of the what's going on. And um, it's just a beautiful thing to have, you know, it, it brings such peace when you focus on those types of things, those types of thoughts. All right, my friends, thanks again for stopping by. I enjoy chatting makeup with you so, so much. Thanks for spending time with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. So until the next one, please stay safe and stay well. Remember, I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. <laughs> See you soon. Bye guys.